There were emotional scenes at the High Court in Auckland today as the man who fatally punched MMA fighter Fal Vake in a street assault was jailed. 30-year-old Daniel Havili was sentenced to two years and nine months in prison. Logan Church was at court. Oh, Anger as Daniel Havili is led away. Your actions led to the death of another. The public gallery today filled with family that lost a dad. It's the pain of trying to answer his daughter's tough questions when she's crying and demanding to know where her dad is. And a sporting community that lost a teammate. That's heartbreaking. That's a heartbreaking result um, for our whole team. It all started in an unprovoked, brutal late night fight last May on Auckland's Simon Street after Falvake and his brother Inka were attacked by four men. The fact that you were drunk is no excuse. Sadly, most one-punch manslaughter cases involve young men out late at night drinking. Havili's punch was fatal. Fal and Ika Vake were around here when they were attacked. During the altercation, Daniel Havili swung his fist directly at Fal Vake's face, connecting squarely with the side of it. He fell, his head fracturing on the pavements. He died nine days later, just up the road at Auckland City Hospital. It's been a full year since this, is, this has happened. And to reach this point, um, and to not find any kind of closure is, is definitely difficult. They have been calling for harsher penalties for so-called coward punches. This has to be the spike. There has to be some kind of good to come from this situation. Mr Havili is deeply remorseful of his offending and is only too aware of the grief and the loss that he has caused. Two others involved have admitted their part in the fight, while a fourth man denies common assault charges and will go to trial. But hope today for some closure for family and friends who've lost a loved one. Logan Church, One News.